Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to be putting this uh, sliding uh, curtain track in. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, we used this on our last camping trip and I'm just now making a video of it, but um, it works great and I would recommend definitely doing this um, if you need a little more room in the bathroom. Uh, if you just use the camp showers, you don't necessarily need to do it, but if you use your uh, shower and you just need some more room to um, get some more airflow in there or just more room to move around and you know get comfortable doing what you're doing then uh, this is definitely a way to go um, we just bought some curtains from Walmart um, I planned on making some but uh, with time constraints or whatever before we went on the last trip I just we just went out and bought some and they actually match our decor a little bit better than what I was going to use so uh, uh, follow us along on this one and I uh, hope you enjoy. Alright, so this clip is kind of funky looking. Let me see if I can't get a good shot of it. It's got a spring loaded deal in it. Um, you just pull this over and then your track clips in it and then this edge, it's got a little, let me see if I can't get it, there we go. It's got a little notch in it and it makes a little eye shape, eye beam shape, whatever. And uh, that's what locks your track on. So I'm gonna set, looking at it, I'm gonna set this back edge on that line and I'm gonna center my, my holes on the marks I made. And then all I'm doing on the ends is I'm taking this end anchor piece and I'm setting it up against the wall and marking the front face of it. That way I'm not putting a clip on the very end because it's not going to work. You're going to need, definitely going to need room for the end piece to go in or your, your curtain will potentially slide off the track if you don't put it close enough to the wall. So I'm definitely going to use these end pieces. Um, and it tell it gives you a shape that way whenever you're actually putting the track in it's got this concave shape to the bottom of it that way you're putting it in the right way too alright so I've got a couple clips left that I'm going to use in the radius part of this, but I want to get my track uh, temporarily snapped in, and then I'm going to use, I don't know, probably just use the track. It's about 100 inches. Um, I actually have it sitting out in the sun. Maybe it'll make it a little more pliable. It does have a metal core in it, so it's not like a cut it with a utility knife or anything. You're definitely going to have to get some tin snips. Um, but I'm going to go get that and then just kind of fit it in here to see from this point around here is going to look like, and then I can kind of get my, uh, marks and my clips put up and then I'm going to have to wash all this pencil line off because I don't really want to see that. So here's the profile. I don't know. There you go. The profile of it and it's got this little concave thing on the bottom it's kind of rounded on the bottom and flat on the top but that's the direction it's going to go and you can kind of see 
Um, there's a metal core in it, like I said. So I got some tin snips. And I'm just going to put this up there and then kind of make a general mark on it. Cut it and then I'll cut it to fit a lot better here in a minute. There's the track, except I made one mistake here. I didn't put any rollers on. So I'm gonna count all the rollers that came with it. It said it came with enough X amount of like eight per meter or whatever it was, but I'm just gonna count it. Uh, I'm gonna save some for this length, potentially. And uh, I can't imagine I'm gonna need more than about 10 right here so I'll probably just take off 10 and then use the rest for this big track I may as well just put this one up as well while I'm doing it Alright, so off camera I already hung this curtain, but I'm just using these like uh, teardrop clips. Um, and then I did my spacing. I just folded this, um, it's a full shower curtain, I just folded it in half and then just doubled up the holes. So there'll be six. Um, six holes, one of them is going to be anchored against the wall, and then the rest of the other five are going to slide, and I'm going to just push it up against that way, that way I can put a tie on the wall and um, tie this all back whenever we're traveling. That way it's not flopping all over, but it's really not that big a deal. It's just a curtain. And then I already hung these up as well. Uh, I think I did uh, 14, 12 or 14 rollers. And then I just lapped the middle together out here. That way it's doubled up from like here to here. And that was just because of the curtain length. I hung some of them this way and then some of them this way. And then whatever overlapped, I just tied them together. All right guys, thanks for following us along on this one. Uh, hopefully uh, this helps you make the decision on whether or not you want to install one of these. Uh, it has a lot of privacy and uh, 
a lot of functionality to the bathroom. It gives you this whole space instead of just that little room for your bathroom. Again, thanks for following us along. Um, thanks for, I think we're about to about uh, 500 subscribers. So thank you every one of you that have subscribed. Um, I think around, I don't know, probably when we actually hit 500, I wouldn't mind doing just a small giveaway of like maybe an Amazon gift card or something just for all the people who are subscribed. Just to say thank you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. That way we know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. I got a couple more videos I'm getting ready to post, so uh, stay tuned for those, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.